to discuss, for example, in 1978, when our founding father passed on, I remember very well, because we were on school holiday, and I was looking after my father's cows. And when around three o'clock we were told uh, President Kenyatta had passed on. I remember we hurriedly took the cows home. We ran, literally, because in my mind, I thought it was the end of the world. <laughs> and then, in 1980, when I uh, was preparing to do Standard 7, exams, CPE, that was called then. I remember very well when I went to, um, to do the exams, I was bare feet, because, of course, that was the nature of the village life. We didn't have shoes. My father bought me my first shoe in 1981 from a Mr. Onyango on the street for 60 shillings because he could not afford the butter shoes. Why am I saying this? Today, as you can see, the gentleman who did not have shoes is sitting at the high table. with the son of the founding father. <laughs> so the confession I want to make is when you see some of us go to church and pray and lift up our hands, sometimes shed tears, make this or that contribution, it is because we cannot forget where God has brought us from. I beg you to understand. Some of us have more to thank God for than some of you. So please, I beg you to understand because sometimes you judge us harshly. With those many remarks, ladies and gentlemen, with the permission of His Excellency the President of Kenya, it's now my humble duty to ask His Excellency President Salva K If only, if only, just for a moment, we could all just stop talking a little bit and just put into practice the things we have said today. Kenya will be a different country in less than five years. That's number one. We love talking about it. We love making our commitments. But the practical side, a bit tough. Let's just do it. Let's not talk about doing it. Let's just do it. That is all our people ask of us. Nothing else. We can sing from the rooftops, but all our people want is for us to do what we've said. <laughs>